And welcome, Internet Land. It is Friday night, and this is your host, Scratch and Sniff. Hey, say hi to the people, Sniff. How is everybody? We are back with the first round of the Blitz Bowl. The Black Crag Invitational. It is Friday night, and Friday night means only one thing, and that is Blitz Bowl! Isn't that right, Sniff? We've got the Pine and our Halflings in this match against the Sticks and Stones. Pine and our Halflings, strong on the runners, strong on the hopefuls. But you just can't beat the strength of the Sticks and Stones. They are basically impenetrable, in unpenetrable, Unpenetra undead. Undead. Unpenetrable. I love that uh, change it's from the English language. Word. It's, it's a, a new, new word. word that I've just come up and with. And here comes the team itself. And just in sheer weight of numbers, look at that ominous look there. They we might not be great at doing much, but there's lots of them. It certainly is. Two skeletons, two zombies, no special... Uh, abilities anywhere to you be seen. You don't want to get in the way of the mummy. No, that mummy makes a mark and it gets a shove, you'll be knocked down instead. The white blitzer gets to really get in there with its tackles and the ghoul just the sheer speed. These halflings are going to have to watch their game and here they come out on the field in the red and green. The pint and our halflings. There's You're... no hocus pocus there, just skill and focus. That's it! Speaking of hocus and pocus, here come the sticks and stones. Slightly uh, more bluish ghostly They're rumbling uniform. and they're stumbling and bumbling onto the field. That's it. We've got the uh, captain's toss for who is getting the first turn. And it looks like sticks and stones have it. They're going to set up first, which means they're going to get the first run onto the pitch as well. And of course, the mummy comes out first. This is a smart move there, Sniff. What do you think? You want to make sure you get the mummy out there because he's going to really do some protection. He's going to do some defense. You, you make sure that you get him in front of your fastest runners so that you can do some protection. Also very slow, the mummy, so you don't want to leave him sort of uh, off to the side, you would think. Um, uh, I'm yet to see someone who has put the mummy out far on the wings in any of these matches, but this is the Black Crag Invitational and anything can happen. We've got a strong centre by the looks of it, with the ghoul, the white, and the mummy. We've got our skeletons and our zombies on each flank. I don't know if that's a testament to their skill or lack thereof. Maybe they... just to keep them out of the way and... <laughs> Possibly. Maybe for their own team as well as for the opposition. Here come the pine and a halflings, and they've done a similar, almost mirror setup. We have the hefty and the runners in the centre. We have our hopefuls. You'll recognise them by the pots and pans on their heads. What they lack in skill... They make up for in sheer willingness and to get back on the, the pitch. Ball in the centre of the pitch, about to kick Release. off. Release. There comes the ball from the trap door, and it is Sticks and Stones with their opening moves of our Blitz Bowl game in this Friday night match. And of course, as we all expect, the ghoul is out first, and the ghoul has gone straight for the ball. Seven. It has travelled seven entire squares, picked up that ball immediately. What? It is the a fastest play. player on the game. Can obviously take the most amount of board space. So off he goes, picks up the ball. Now let's see if she can keep it. It's a straight up of offensive uh, manoeuvre straight off the bat. We've got the white blitzer just behind, just ready to make those tackles. Should anyone oppose the ghoul? Now the sticks and stones have brought out one of the skeletons. Now that is an interesting move. The mummy sits back on the defensive line. Well, you can obviously see that they're trying to get some numbers up there. The mummy wouldn't be able to quite get into the field of play. Right. They're hanging back. So we can see that they've chosen to defend the line rather right. than attack. And here come the pine and a halflings, and they have moved straight up with the hefty, first of all. Now, they lack the speed, you would think, to make any major plays for that ball. They could get a mark in, but they've chosen instead to move up their full line, trying to block this offence from Sticks and Stones. And they There's look not like... not much that they can do from here, because anywhere they go, they're going to walk straight into combat. And looks like combat is exactly what they're looking for. That white blitzer has done exactly that, going straight forward and looking to block it's one of the Pine Anna players, maybe making some space for the ghoul if he gets an opening and looks like a successful hit. We're going to hope that the Hefty's armor is good enough to fend off this block 
Because if that ghoul gets ooh, through the line... It is 100% not good enough. And that, that hefty goes back. Is so quick, it can go into a revolving door in front of you and come out behind you. He's that quick. So I Look, think he's going to take the it opportunity. Is exactly it's that touchdown. sniff. It's an immediate touchdown. We have two moves from... Sticks and stones, and they have already got a touchdown and gone ahead and collected on their challenge cards immediately in the game. This is going to be a big, strong opening for Sticks and Stones. And it looks like they've even got a showboat for the crowd. An extra point just for getting a touchdown. That launches them into the lead. 5-0. That this is going to be... Is an early lead from Sticks and Stones, and it's going to be very... Hard for the pint and a half links to pull this out and pull it back. They have definitely put their name on the pitch and said, Come at me, halflings. They are straight in 5 0. Pint Anna, obviously at this point, wondering what they are going to do now. A second ball has come out of the trapdoor and hit the pitch, and it has bounced slightly in favour of the Pine Anna halflings. They're going to enjoy that, but with one player in the dugout already. Here we go. The runner, best person for the job. The runner's good at avoiding tackles. You have to get the absolute most brutal tackle to take down these runners. Otherwise, they will just slip out of your grip. The runner Obviously, has... the pint and the halflings are going down the right flank there. They want to stay well clear of that mummy. And well clear of that blitzer as well. That white blitzer is not to be trifled with. We've got a run taking the ball deep into the sticks and stones here come one of the hopefuls filling in that gap in the midfield and here comes it looks like yes it is another hopeful onto the pitch the pine and halflings might be playing a long game here trying to get as many players out and in the midfield while they still can they haven't picked up any points this uh, no. Garnering a bit of support from the, the back. We've only got one pint and a halfling out there by themselves. And with only one turn for each player, it's kind of hard for them to do it if they haven't got any support up there, Scratch. You would think so, Sniff. And it looks like immediately the ghoul has come out of the dugout. He's made his mark. because He can make a mark over three squares. And here comes the block. He's going to try and take on this halfling on his own. Aggressive play from Sticks and Stones, going straight for that ball. Straight for that ball, but it looks like it has done them no favours at the moment. They've missed the mark. The player has come up with a missed tackle, which means that pint and a halfling is deep in their zone. Can he but manage we'll to get to himself get a completion? Away from the ghoul before they can do anything of real meaning. And that is the first thing he's done. He's broken contact, going back a step... What can he do now? He's going for the run. Can He's done it! He's made it to the end field! Touchdown! He's got a touchdown! We've got two touchdowns in the opening stages of the game. Out of nowhere, the pint and a halfling is pulling it back. And also, almost even. Also getting a, a showboat for the crowd, giving them four points instead of the usual three for a touchdown. That Leaving brings them it. only one point shy of making it an even game. I mean, what a tremendous opening. This is a fast and furious game, isn't it, Sniff? Within the first five minutes of this game, it's so electrifying that Jimi he Hendrix's guitar would be put to shame. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix's guitar is put to shame. Friday Night Blitz Bowl will do that to even the strongest of entertainers. Here comes the next ball out of the trapdoor, and this time it is definitely a Sticks and Stones weighted ball has gone straight in there and the skeleton who none of us thought were going to do anything this round um has immediately gotten it he's oh, playing and he's heading more up defensive the right wing isn't he though bit more a defensive play there now there is a point involved so they've definitely taken charge of the ball and that's given them an extra point sticks and stones pulling the lead ahead by two they are now six four in comes the ghoul Ready to possibly make a mark, possibly make a block, or are we going to see Oop. more of Sticks and Stones move up? And no, You're right in there, straight in there, he is thrown himself, literally and figuratively, <laughs> at the pint and a halfling's front line. Now we have the single point for taking possession of the ball. It looks like the turn uh, is changing over to the pint and a halflings. They are immediately. Pulling their players back out of the dugout. Now the hefty is going to cost them a bit of time, but the hopefuls move straight out. Now it's 
There aren't any hopefuls. Oh, I've got to correct myself. There's only the Hefty and the Runner in there. So that looks like it's going to be the entire turn for the Pint and a Halflings. They Heading have straight up that far wing to block the Skeleton with the ball. What were the Sticks and Stones thinking with uh, that tactic? I mean, they've gone down the only area of the board that can be completely shut down by a single player. Maybe they're planning to bowl him over as they did in the early stages of the game. Um... No, it looks like we are going for a pass. This may have been a feint the entire time. It look, it's definitely going to be an attempt at a pass. Now, the old switcheroo. The bait, old and, switcheroo. bait and switch. The old bait and switch. Pine and Halflings have indeed gone for it. But if they can make this pass, then Sticks and Stones might once again have pulled a fast one. And it looks good. That ball is going to go. That is a Straight to the center of the field. Pass. <laughs> In into the possession of a zombie once again. Not usually. Not the fastest. Not usually not the, the player. Not, not the best of not, offensive players. Not the best of anything players. But he's got the ball right now, and the pint and a halflings do not. And it looks like they have gone up. Yes, they have another point for completing a pass. It is seven four. The mummy has finally come out. Sometimes this game isn't just about touchdowns. It's about smart and steady play which will get you the points That's and this it. seems to be the sort of game that sticks and stones are playing it does and the pine and a halflings for their own uh attempt are going to join forces they are playing the long game they've got two pine and a halflings against the ghoul it looks like they have made a successful tackle the ghoul has used a special play to try and get out of it but he has failed and has ended up in the dugout now, is this going to earn the Pine and a Halfling some points as well as just getting that meddlesome ghoul out of the way? That is the main question. And here. you can see that the ghoul's not happy about that. You can see you can his see lips the team moving, captain. but he's definitely not praying. He's definitely not praying. <laughs> here comes the hopeful from that recent tackle. It looks like they are going in again. A mark and a tackle. The Pine and a Halflings are trying to clear the board here. We are trying. They are trying to get rid of... Sticks and stones from their end zone, from their end of the field, and it looks like they are going to be successful. Now, we just got a knockdown here. Not injured enough to be sent to the dugout. Maybe some holy water in the eyes. Just a little bit of a sleep. Just a little bit of a rest. Put the feet up, and he'll live to fight another day. Live to fight another day. Good one. Sniff. These guys For are... an undead <laughs> <warrior>. <laughs> yeah. Complete. I see what you did there. Now we've got a free reserve coming out. Sticks and stones look to be making up for this attack from the, the Pine and Halflings. Is back on the board immediately, just like carry from the grave, straight up out of the dirt. And we have got the zombie looking to go down the other flank here, Sniff. Now we've already seen interesting tactic from Sticks and Stones. They've gone all the way to one edge of the board. Past it, other. and are now all the way, but they don't seem to be going forward, which could, you know, it's it quite... could be a tactical error on their part. Now but be... what they've done is they've activated the multi ball by multi ball by not scoring any of the challenge cards and being in possession of the ball. A second ball has entered the pitch, and again, they've got a positive bounce straight back towards the mummy and sticks and sticks and stones now they may end up with two balls and two touchdowns they could very very well we've got some intricate play here from the pine and a halflings they are going to yes they are going to maneuver they've oh, played a special stolen. card so they can move around the opponent's team and they have stolen the that pine and a halflings waiting for their opportunity and they have pounced on that like a hobo on a ham sandwich. And I think it's actually a pasty. A ham pasty. But they've got it right now. And it looks like, oh my gosh, the pine and a halfling with the ball is going at the Sticks and Stones team member with the ball. Trying to tackle as well as take possession that of his own ball. That is some aggressive play. That is super aggressive. Unfortunately, he's just gotten a shove in there. So we have our two ball-wielding members of our teams locked in Mortal Kombat as we turn back to Sticks and Stones for their next turn. What are they going to pull out this Sticks time? Sticks and Stones seem pretty spread out across the board. They're going to take a lot of time and a lot of moves just getting members over there to help. Absolutely. And we've got the Ghoul who's come up in support of the Sticks and Stones member. Now they've gotten themselves 
an extra few points here. This could have been a marked situation. Having enough of the pint and a halflings marked by their players has given them two extra points. Bring it to 9 4. But having said that, Andy, that scratch. They have left themselves wide open. That goal line has no one defending it whatsoever. And it this, is open for attack. This could be a long-term play, getting them 10 points to 4 now. They may have gone for the points in the challenge cards rather than a touchdown. Here we go. No, we've got an extra play move from Sticks and Stones. They're going to get an extra play by the looks of it. They are really looking to dominate and extend this lead, 10-4, blocking one of the Pine and a Halfling players. It's the uh, White Blitzer again, which is someone you don't want to come up against on the pitch. Very likely to do some damage. It's and quite he has. aggressive play from both teams. And, you know, we often see um, players who will be more uh, defensive and will, will play more to, to stop the other team from getting across the line. But both teams here really going at it really uh, smashing through each other's lines and continuing to go. And, and like you just said before, Sniff, um, they have left themselves open sticks and stones and the Pine Anno Halflings are not going to play around. They're not going to play a witty game here. They're just going to go straight for the points that they can get. A touchdown looks like a showboat for the crowd as well for an extra point, And they're going to push themselves up to 8 to 10. Now they've still got, by the looks of it, two more moves this turn. What are they going to do? Bringing out some reserves. Now, their hopefuls come out for free. So, I mean, we are still looking at plenty of moves this term around for the Pine and a Halflings. They're going to, looks like they're going to redress their midfield now that they have gotten their touchdown. Oh, they're going to get a point for being uh, brave and standing on the trap door. They are playing for every single point that they can get this round. Well, they realised when it was 4-10 to 10 that they needed to do something. They needed to really pull something out of the bag to get those points and rack them up quickly. That's it. But now we are looking at a Sticks and Stones player that looks like he has a free side of the field to run down. Now, the Ghoul is going to take this opportunity. And, and how could you pass it up? How could you pass it up, Sniff? You've got a wide open right field for the uh, Pine and a Halflings. It doesn't look like he's, he has no support up there, so he's, he's not going to be able to make this touchdown this turn. Sticks and Stones looking like they're going to try and take out a few of these Halflings. And also giving Pine uh, and a Halflings the chance to play the defensive game and get in front of um, the, the ball carries before they get anywhere near that touchdown line. Oh, we've got a very interesting... We've got two shoves here from both of the Sticks and Stones players, which means that poor Halfling is being shoved in both directions. He's going to be knocked down, the Hefty. Can he make his save and not get to the dugout? No, he is injured. He, he is, is badly out of here. Again. Is it the elbows? Is it the eyes? The guy's got more bandages than the mummy itself. But he is off the field for now. Pint and a Halfling is going to have to consider where the ball is and how they are going to keep their lines. That was a good so. mummy joke there, by the way. I no. missed that one. <laughs> it's a <laughs> Fast and Furious game there, Sniff. You've got to keep... <laughs> yeah, no, to I, I missed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great mummy joke there. Thanks, buddy. I always appreciate it. Now, we've got extra reserves by the looks of it coming out for the Pint and a Halflings. They look scared. They, there is... Plenty of sticks and stones players in the midfield and further up. And we have a ball headed for the end zone as well. Here comes the hefty. He's pretty he... quickly out of the dugout after that hit. And straight towards that goal to block him off. Brilliant play there. He's going to go for the block as well. The hefties get a free chance to block. And he is going to use it. He's going to get the shove. He's going to push that ball carrying goal back behind the uh, bra braziers. Call them braziers or braziers. I would call it just a, an object. An object with a fire on the top. Yeah. Pushed him back, blocked him off. So we now have sticks and stones with a bit of a predicament here. They are either going to have to plow through that hefty and keep going, or we're going to see some more passes in this game. That ghoul is more blocked than my undercarriage after 400 grams of brisket. And that is a lot of brisket, and that is a lot of undercarriage. <laughs> Sniff. So that is pretty blocked, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like he's gone for the block. 
And once again, our Hefty has been taken down. This time, not injured enough to end up in the dugout. Lucky Sticks guy. And stones were hoping oh, that they no. were to find their way through there. We have a foul play. So the ghoul has made an attack on our halfling Hefty while he was on the ground. He's been sent to the dugout what injured. A good. What a nasty maneuver. The ghoul, however, has does, had his turn and has, cannot go again. Has had his turn. He has made his tackle attempt. So it looks like the White Blitzer is trying to end. He's got a shove as well. The White Blitzer failing to take down. Suddenly these halflings do not seem to be taking the licking that they were earlier in the game. Staying on their big furry feet against this attack. These tiny halflings standing up and against the Do you know what time it is, undead. Sniff? It's multi Sticks and stones have failed once again That's to get any spells on the board. This game to, to do any sort of points damage. Exactly, and we have another ball on the field. Now, it looks pretty well covered by sticks and stones, but the Pineana Halflings are going to make their move, and I think I just saw a hopeful make a tackle attempt against a mummy. And that is something that you only see in Friday Night Blitz Bowls, Dad. That's it. The, the kind of courage there that you only see from a halfling. Half man, all courage. Now, it was a completely unsuccessful attack, we must say. So, I mean, the, the heart was there. The general body mass, however, was a little bit lacking. Which Very means hard to score any sort of damage on a mummy. On, a, on a, and an undead ghostly mummy as well. Yeah. It's just tough. It's just tough. But we've got to commend them for the effort that they made. It's going like to turn over. Like a chihuahua over. jumping up against a brick wall. <laughs> exactly. you got to you got to barrack for the brick wall, really. Now, the ghoul is back at it. He needs to get an opening here, and it looks like he's going to try and do it himself. Takes another attempted block, this time at a hopeful. And the hopeful is not going to pass that armor save. Pots and pans on your head. Not always the best protection when you're playing Blitzpole at the Black Crag Invitational. Now they've gotten another point, Sticks and Stones, for that takedown. Oh, they are rocketing up. They're at 12 now against Pint Anna's 9. Just widening that lead once again. But Pint and the Halflings have come back before. Can they do it again? Exactly Swiftly right. Swiftly running out of turns, though, Swift. Scratch. It's a, the, the, the timer keeps on ticking. And there goes the ghoul once again, as if they didn't have a big enough lead. We are going to get another touchdown for it six seems like the pint and the halflings just really focused on the pasty ball in the middle of the field <laughs> and just completely forgot about that ghoul with the ball on the sideline. I, uh, this, the smell of pasties, Sniff, how can you resist it? And it looks like the pint and the halflings got a little bit distracted themselves. They are being checked by this irritating mummy who's just so incredibly hard to take down. They're going to have another try with a single hopeful once again. They Very are... Very minimal effort. They are clutching at straws at the moment. Can they do it though? We have absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you Second time need, around. You don't need much. <laughs> they have. I think it might have been the extra scent of the pasty that's done it, but that single it hopeful has, has taken down that mummy. He's going to take up the ball immediately. Has he got enough? Leg the room. mismatch of the century. <laughs> he's done it, but he's got all the upper body strength. His like feet Conor can't McGregor take him. McGregor against the mountain. He's taking him down. Taking him down. Unfortunately, he just could not get across the line this turn, which is going to give Sticks and Stones a chance to block. Now, I mean, it's not going to be hard to pull that ghoul out of the reserves and park him right there. You would think so, and you'd think that is exactly what the captain is thinking right now. Now, Pine and a Halflings taking possession of that ball and getting themselves a point. This now brings them to 10, but you've got to look at that score from Sticks and Stones. 15, and think, have Pine and a Halflings got enough left in the tank and enough time on the clock? Yeah, as we said, that ghoul's come straight out and has gone straight up to that halfling with the ball. Ready no to take sorry. him out, and it's a miss! He's missed! Oh, but we do halfling. have a special play. We have a special play. He's going to go for another shot. He needs to take this halfling down to keep the pine out. And it's another miss! 
He has missed oh, two tackles in a row. that is a tragedy. You can the s- only man standing in the way of the touchdown line. And because he has missed a diving tackle, it's the ghoul himself who ends up on the pitch, sprawled out. The halfling now unguarded right next to the end zone. Now, a, a simple touchdown is not going to do it for the Pine and the Halflings right now, but you've got to say it's going to help. It's going to put them back in the game. It's definitely going to bring that lead down, and it's what they need right now to get back in the game. Otherwise, it's already over. That halfling is the... <laughs> You've got to think that's the luckiest halfling on the Pine and the Halfling team He's just right taken now. down the mummy, and now he's come up against the ghoul. Two whiffs, two <laughs> misses, and he's in for a touchdown. Absolutely he is definitely laughing. going to be paraded around the tiny bar that they go to <laughs> later on this evening. He'll be swimming in that barrel as long as they can pull off a win to clinch it. Now there's 13 to 15, and uh, it's 14 now. 14 Looks like the Pine and the Halflings have managed to crawl their lead down to one point off. This Once again, is and exciting. we've hit the end the zone. Final we've hit the final countdown. round. This is going to be the last play from either team. The ball has come out of the trap door. It has bounced off the, the sprawled out head. mummy's head back, back to the trap, the trap door. door. So this is a completely even ball. How are sticks and stones? I don't know if they're going to be able to get this across the line, or are they even going to try? Are they just going to play defensive and shut down the pine and a half? Just give the ball to the mummy and leave it and there. Leave it there. <laughs> leave it there, and hope that there's not any points that the pine and a halflings can make up. But now, as we just saw, that doesn't always mean that it's not going to be. You know, any halfling can take down a mummy on I any mean, given day. That's it. And the blitzer, the white blitzer, has taken a swipe at the runner. But the halfling runners, they get to slip out of any tackle that is not a complete knockdown. And the blitzer, getting themselves a shove, has just been ignored and run around by the halfling runner. And he's going to follow up, trying to open up some space in the center here. But without that open... He's not going to be able to have the ball pass to him and make a run for it. It As looks Dan like... Dan Halflings, any regular-sized person, just takes a swing and goes straight over the end. That's it. And that is exactly what he's done. The mummy has picked up the ball. The white blitzer has taken a swipe. And this might be it for Sticks and Stones. That is their, their last final turn. Final play. And as it rests, they're not looking too great. They don't have a good spread on the field. The mummy has the ball, but we've seen that that doesn't mean anything in the grand scheme of things. The har- Pine and a Halfling certainly have their work cut out for them, but they just need a simple point on the board. Now, a takedown at this point in the game will earn them two points. That will put them in the lead. However, all they need to do is get... There's a simple th- single point to draw out this game. There's three cards to play for. They're gone for the takedown. They are going for a knockdown. Now, a simple knockdown's not going to do it for them. They need to injure a player to get the two points here. Could they have just ruined their chances by going for such a difficult play? And the White Blitzer gets the armor save, and it looks like the White Blitzer is going to make his armor save, meaning he's just taken down on the pitch and he's the halflings... He's not injured. He's not injured, robbing the pine and a halflings of the two points that they needed. They still have another play in them, but it's not going to do them any good. I can't see them making any more At points this, this game, point, Steph. I think it's academic. There is no way that they can pull this back. But what a close match. One point in it at the end... And that's it. Touchdowns from the start. Final Touchdowns from time. the end. It's 15 14, to 15. 14. The captains shake hands, and that is the end. Our winners for this evening, Sticks and Stones. So congratulations to Sticks and Stones. Join us again for round two of the Black Crag Invitational, where we will have the Chaos Golden Hind team up against the Ogres Thundergut Thumpers. And join us again for some Friday night Blitzball! Blitzball!